Okay, so check this out. This is a Patterson 3 tank, and I have special markings all around it. And this is a pre-production prototype unit of Benoit's newly upgraded processor. Okay, if you've been watching this channel for a while now, you've seen this in live streams, and I've talked about how much it saved me in terms of developing costs. And when I say it saved me, I mean the previous unit. So this is an upgrade to it. Now, if I turn this on and I throw this Patterson tank on top of it, you'll see something interesting. By the way, there's a t-shirt in here, just so that this doesn't fall over. If there's a reel inside and film inside, then it would be solid, but with nothing in there, a t-shirt would do. So you'll see something special about this unit compared to the old one, which is that it rotates back and forth. So the reason that I'm making this video, let me go ahead and cut this off, is because I'm beta testing this unit. And if you haven't heard about this at all yet, that means that you haven't been to my website, certainexposures.com. I have a 4K unboxing video of this where I go through some of the new features and why they're exciting. And I describe the relationship that I have going on with Benoit. Specifically, he sent me this model so that I could be a beta tester for it before he goes ahead and makes it available to the public. So I received this unit for free in exchange for giving him my opinions on it and helping him test it. Okay, so now that we got that portion out of the way, I wanna get a little bit more specific about this. If you darkroom print, or excuse me, if you develop at home, or you're just interested in 3D printed products for the darkroom, then you definitely wanna stick through the video just to get an idea of how this works. So I have markings, like I said, all around here. They are sixteenths of the full circumference of the Patterson tank. So all I did, and I'm illustrating this for Benoit so that he can replicate my experiment, is I made a marking at the top here, one directly opposite of it. Oh, you can't really see that, can you? So mark at the top, one directly opposite, then in the middle, then in the middle, and I kept doing that until I had sixteenths. And the rotation that is happening on the, the unit here is I'm going four sixteenths, so from one big number to the next, and then I'm doing approximately two to three sixteenths in the reverse. So going from say this number to here or in between here. Okay, this is the first official test that I'm doing of the Bees Processor TR. We are set at a speed of three. We have the wobbly wheels on. This is the Patterson 3 tank. Right now I'm doing approximately something like a quarter of a turn forward and something like a sixth of a turn back. I was trying to get to a fifth, but you know, it's a little imprecise here, so this is the best I could do. You can see that the tank is going through each numeral, so you can tell that it's going all the way around. I used two rubber bands rather than a single rubber band because I noticed that just one could occasionally go above the wheel, but with two, it looks like that's not happening. I'd probably go with three, to be honest, or an even thicker rubber band. And that led to some fairly even development. And when I say fairly, I, I, I don't see any uneven development in these negatives. These are four by five sheets of Kodak Portra 400 that I shot last night. I've been making sure that I stick to social distancing guidelines, even though they're not really in effect right now. So I've been shooting it off hours. Fine, the colors look great. I inverted them using Negative Lab Pro, which is my scanning solution. And by the way, I did also receive that free from Nate, but that was before I started Certain Exposures LLC. So thanks again, Nate, for that. And yeah, that is the main update that I wanted to make on that beta test. So it worked perfectly. And I was very happy about that because I, I happen to like these shots, not for display, but as proof of concept for a project that I'm working on. So I'm glad that those came out. And before I let you guys go, I want to remind you one more time, head on over to my website, certainexposures.com, and look at the 
unboxing video that I have of this unit because I go into the details of it. And it's amazing because this and its previous model have allowed me to save, instead of using a thousand milliliters to fill up a Patterson 3 tank and, and expose or develop, excuse me, develop six sheets of film, I can use just 500 milliliters. So that's a great savings if you're a dark room, if you're using the dark room at home to develop your film. And on top of that, you get rotation and consistent agitation, which is great for color film. So a lot of times people have problems getting consistent results with color film at home. With this unit so far, it's been doing great on that regard.